in this small video, let's talk about buying a diamond ring, specifically here in the UK. Now, at the moment, you're probably sitting here thinking it has to be a diamond ring for the engagement, and certainly here in England, that is still the most popular, I believe. I would have thought so. But what you have to remember is prior to the 1940s, the 1950s, when we had uh, breakfast at Tiffany's, we had the song Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Prior to that, most engagement rings were rubies, sapphires, and emeralds. And in fact, any country where De Beers marketing campaign hasn't really reached that far, uh, diamonds sort of come well down the list on yeah. engagement rings. And, and, and it is really just the, the, the Western world where the diamond's predominantly number one. But if you are buying a diamond ring, what should they be looking for? If I was looking for my perfect diamond ring, um, I personally, I think it, and it, it's one of those hard questions, isn't it? Because everybody has different tastes. You know, everybody had, if you were choosing any gemstone, it would be, what is your favorite color? Diamonds, it's white. So therefore with a diamond, you're looking for shape you're looking for uh, colour and believe it or not, although we always look for lack of colour in terms of what makes an amazing diamond, there are people who perhaps like a diamond that is not so white, they may be actually getting more down the, the champagne. Fancy colours, oh, champagne, fancy yeah. colour. There are many elements to it really, but in terms of actually looking for the, for the perfect diamond, if there is such a term, then what we say is look for those, you know, the, the, the four C's, the cut, the clarity, the carat weight, and, and the, the colour. Color. So, you know, it, 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 as much as possible within your budget to look for all of those things and try and get the perfect of this and the perfect of that. Don't worry about that too much. What, really what you're looking for is a diamond that looks beautiful to you. It's got to look beautiful. Let's break those four C's down quite quickly for you though and put them in some sort of priority. First one, the most important of those four C's is the colour. You want it as Definitely. near colourless as possible. The GIA have a scale, the Gemological Institution of America, that goes from D to Z. So don't ever look for A, B or C because there isn't any. <laughs> uh, you don't need to be spending around the D's and the E's because there's not that much difference. Really G to H is a great place to be. That's still ice white. It's what we call colourless, bordering on near colourless. So G to H is a great place to be. In terms of the cut, there's all sorts of cuts out there. There's mm. triangular shapes called trillions. There's marquee shapes. There's pear shapes. But there's only really two as an engagement ring you should look at, I would have thought. Yeah, definitely. Princess that. cut and a round brilliant cut, which is uh, the most, two of the most traditional and, and I would have thought the most popular by far. So stay with either the round. Round is more traditional. Or the princess cut, the square. That's a little bit more contemporary. Um, so we've covered off colour. Look at colour around the G to H. Stick with the traditional either round or the princess. In terms of carat weight, well, that's again down to what you can really afford. But always remember, you're buying something with intrinsic value. Mm. Anything that's rare has intrinsic value. So if you're buying it in gold or silver or platinum, your metal's got intrinsic value. If you're buying a diamond is a gemstone, just like buying rubies and sapphires. Anything that's rare has intrinsic value. Therefore, long term, whatever you invest in today, you may get a good return on investment 10, 20 years down the line. So spend within your budget but stretch maybe a little bit. So we've talked about the three C's and carrot weight, get up there as big as, <laughs> as big as you can big afford. Big, yeah. um, and the final one is the clarity. Don't worry too much about the clarity. Yeah. There's, there's all sorts of different grades out there. Things, you'll hear phrases like VSI, VVSI, internally flawless IFs, SIs. Yeah. The key thing is with the naked eye, can does you it look beautiful? Does it look beautiful? <laughs> if you can see inclusions of the eye, maybe look around and find another diamond, but don't get too yeah. tied into all these fancy acronyms on, on, on terms, certainly in terms of clarity. Look for something where you can't see the inclusions, try and get it as ice white as possible, pick the right shape, and there's your four C's in a nutshell, really. And if you can, of course, buy it from our website, <laughs> gemporia.com, as we are one of the UK's largest retailers of diamond rings. Got to get a plug in somewhere. Um, and, and being a British company and you're buying in the UK, I think that's quite important.